Welcome back to channel everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can connect and sync your SharePoint list with Power BI. This is my sales data list which I have created. There is a country and unit sales column I have created. I want to generate a report out of it to my Power BI. And next time if I add any new entry here or added the existing one, the changes should be reflected on my Power BI reports as well. Let's just talk about how we can do that. I'm in my Power BI desktop version right now. I'll click on this get data, more option, online services, SharePoint online list, click on connect. It'll ask for the site URL. Pick your site URL from here. I'm only giving my site URL, click on OK. It will by default uh, give me my site URL and this is the login option I'm having. I will click on Microsoft account, sign in through my account, pass your username and password, click OK. Now we are connected. Click on connect and you can see the number of uh, lists are there. I'll search for sales data. Click on load. You'll see that uh, all of your data is loaded here. I'm going to generate a report out of it now. I'll select uh, stacked column chart. Add country into axis. And then unit sold into values. And I can add unit sold in legend as well. And this is how your reports look like. Now I have to save this one. You can save your report as an PBAX file. I'm saving it to my desktop right now. Once it is saved, I'll publish this report to my Power BI online in my workspace. You can uh, save it to any of the workspace you want. and it is publishing to our Power BI online. It's now done. I can go to my Power BI web version and I can see my sales data report here. This is our sales data report. So next step what I have to do is, if I make any changes to this particular list, or this particular sales data report should be updated automatically. For that, I'm going to create a Power Automate flow here. I'll go in my Power Automate, create instant flow, skip sales data, select SharePoint. When item is created or modified, enter the site address. This is under my dev site. A list name we have sales data. And uh, next thing what I'm going to do is Power BI. Power BI refresh the data set. So the workspace is my workspace and my Power BI. And the data set is sales data. All right, I'm going to save this one and check with my report right now. So let's suppose I'm, I'll do it for Bulgaria. As you can see for Bulgaria right now that it's 1673 units sold. And if I go here into my quick edit, replicate this one and save this one. We'll go in our flow. Once our flow runs successfully, we'll check in our sales data. You can see our flow succeeded. I'll go in my report here in Bulgaria and refresh this one. We're getting some error here in my data set. Some technical detail. Schedule refresh fail. I'll go in my schedule refresh. Okay, for data source credential, 
I have to add credential here. This is one of the important step as well. Organization sign in. I think we're good now. I'll add one more entry here. I'll just delete this one. Still, we are having two instances. We have two instances. I'll go in my flow. Two seconds ago, it's ran again. I hope this time Power BI dataset will be refreshed. Seems like it's refreshed now. Now we can see for Bulgaria, it's uh, went to 1673, but the count you can see is count of units sold is two. Earlier it was only one, as you can see. If I add more here, Add two more. Wait for our flow to run. Run successfully. Refresh my Power BI report. You can see now the count of units sold is four. As you can see here in my sales data list. So this is the way you can actually connect and sync your SharePoint list with Power BI and apply refresh data sets using Power Automate. I hope you like this video. If you do like this video, don't forget to subscribe, learn and tech. Thank you so much for watching.